What's good everybody, it's your boy Edge0626 back again with another Black Ops 1 gameplay. A uh, quick little thing before I get the commentary started. Uh, I'm using the Uzi, you know, I was having this big thing a couple, about a month ago saying, I said to myself, hmm, I'm going to try using some not uh, commonly used guns in Black Ops 1 and you know, you guys saw a um, really good M14 gameplay from me recently, so I guess you can say uh, this was the first game I had though before that, but uh, it was a pretty good campaign. I think I've uh, I made my point. If I had a, if I get some more gameplays with underpowered weapons or not commonly used weapons, I will definitely post them. So hope you guys enjoy that. Uh, what I wanted to talk about today was um, I'm giving um, I was I'm planning on giving a little review for you guys now. For those of you who don't know. Um, Yesterday was the season finale of season 11 of my favorite show, Deadliest Catch. It's uh, for, I'm going to give you guys a little review about that. Now right off the bat, um, I want to acknowledge the fact that this was a really great season. You know, bigger than se it was even bigger than season 10 was. You know, this, this, this show has been on longer than I've been alive. Well, not longer than I've been alive, I was going to say that, but... It's been around most of my life, which is a, and it's a really entertaining show to watch, you know, so it was, had lots of drama, you know, there was a lot of good stuff going on, and all the guys in the show got home safely. Now, before I continue, if you don't know what Deadliest Catch is, it's a, a TV show on Discovery. Um, I guess you can call it a reality show. It's about guys who... Uh, are in the uh, fishing industry, or in this case, the Alaskan crab fishing industry. And you know, they go into the Bering Sea on the boats and they catch crab and they uh, face bitter weather and, you know, mechanical breakdowns and uh, stuff like that. They've even had people die on the show, which is a shame. But, um, so that's a little, um, little, little uh, background of Delia's Catch for those who don't know. Now, Season this season's finale was um, really entertaining. You know, they everybody was made. The best part is that, um, as usual, is that everybody in the show got home safe. No one, um, you know, no one died. No boats sank, which is a good thing. And uh, everybody made some money, which is always a nice little high note. You know, they always um, they always uh, do that. They always make money, obviously, but sometimes it's not often and that could happen on the other boats that you don't see on the show but other than that it's um it, it was a good it was a good uh, season finale they even they even had some guy on one of my favorite boats uh, one of the crewmen actually proposed to his girlfriend like the girlfriend called the boat and the captain was delivering the message from the crew member and the crew member says if you know, why don't you come out here and marry me after the season's over? And I, I thought that was pretty cool. They showed the wedding and everything. It was like a little, it was it was really cool. It was it was uh, one of the nice nicest. Um, it was one of the nicer uh, parts of the season, I guess you can say. Especially since it was the season finale, it was a nice way to end it off. Um, they and uh, so and a lot of there was a lot of success in it. Obviously, you know people. Some people who were young even got to be captains. Um, it was um, it was really good, and uh, they succeeded as well. So it was really good. And overall, um, overall, my overall, um, I guess uh, my overall uh, opinion of the season was it was really good. Probably one of the best seasons they've had. Um, actually, I enjoy every season. What am I talking about? I mean, that's and it's true. I enjoy every season. I even said on Twitter. And uh, if you don't follow me, my handle's always in the description. Um, you know, I always, I even said, you know, Deadliest Catch, and I actually, I've said it plenty of times this season, Deadliest Catch is what real reality shows should be doing. You know, they, uh, it, it's, I mean, people always talk about the Kardashians and crap. Well, these guys actually go out and risk their lives to get money instead of sitting on their ass all day and, or, and uh, getting nothing doing nothing to get it so you want to argue with that with me go ahead by all means I know I'm right you're wrong that's all that matters in the end man but like I said it's real reality it's something 
that um, even though it's been going on for um, uh, 11 years now, I think maybe even 12 years, I could be wrong, um, for something that's been going on 11 years, you know, they've always somehow managed to keep it fresh with camera angle, new cameras and stuff, like new ways to experience the show in terms of camera angles and story and progressing stories of some of the young guys coming up and uh it's it's a show i guess that even though it, it seems like it's the same old thing it constantly to me reinvents itself in certain ways and it's a lot more entertaining to watch than some of these other so-called reality stars on tele television and that's just me and then recently they came out with that it's going to be a season 12 and i can't wait so season 12 let's go i don't i don't want to wait another year Man, I don't want to wait till April. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this little uh, review and gameplay. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments section. And uh, talk to you guys soon.